Yeah, the other the other song that struck me a, a few years back is um, it, it came upon a midnight clear, and so it's this song um, about the angels singing, and so that's this beautiful image of these angels singing above this idyllic scene of the shepherds keeping watch over their flocks by night, um, and so there's this song proclaiming like the Prince of Peace, peace on earth, and that. Sometimes that makes me think of that old Coke commercial, you know, you know, just just peace on earth, or I can give the world a Coke or whatever. But but th but then this song strikes me because when you look at the lyrics of "It Came Upon Me That Clear," it says, "And yet with the woes of sin and strife, the world has suffered long. Beneath the angel strain have rolled two thousand years of wrong." And that just strikes me that the angels have been proclaiming this song for two, you know, but for two thousand years we've ignored it. Um, and then it goes on, and man at war with man hears not the love song which they bring. Oh, hush the noisy men of strife and hear the angels sing. And so it's this, what struck me about the lyrics is the, is the way this proclamation of the Prince of Peace and peace on earth with will toward men has been sung by these angels and these lyrics kind of grab this sense of that we have not, this love song that they sing and are still singing that 2,000 years we've been at war and, and, and have not kind of bowed the knee or come into the kingdom of the Prince of Peace. Um, and we've contributed our own violence to that. And sometimes it's the small petty violence of the workplace or the home and sometimes it's the large-scale violence of nation against nation. And, um, and so there is a sense that there's a deafness to that proclamation that the angels are singing over the shepherds that for 2,000 years it says, um, we haven't been listening. If, if Advent and Christmas is anything, it's listening to the proclamation of the angels and realizing that that is good news of great joy. Um, that is for all the world. And then becoming a people that lives into that that message, um, and that's going to be a subversive message in a world of violence and hatred and, and jealousy and envy and rivalry. Becoming a people of peace is perhaps the most re revolutionary act we can do in this moment.